Sigoni, Sigoni, how's your macaroni? Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we have another episode of Cool Crochet Stitches. And for this tutorial, we're going to learn the Peephole Chevron Crochet Stitch. This is one of the easiest crochet chevron stitches out there, so I just had to share it with you. The only stitch you'll need to know in this tutorial is the double crochet, and guess what? There's no decreasing. And that is one of the reasons why I think you're going to love this stitch. This double crochet chevron stitch is also the featured stitch in my upcoming design, the Peephole Chevron Baby Blanket. So if you're interested in that pattern, I will link it below once it's available. And if it's not yet, go ahead and sign up for my email list so you don't miss it. Now if you're ready, let's get started with this tutorial. If you're following along with me on this tutorial, you will need a medium weight yarn, a five millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. For today's tutorial, I'm just going to make a small swatch to show you how this stitch works up. And so I'm going to create a chain of 33. If you're looking to create something bigger with this stitch, you're going to want to chain in multiples of 10 plus three. All right, so I have my chain of 33 here and we're going to move on to row one. So for row one, we're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. I'm talking US terms, so a double crochet in the US is a treble crochet in the UK. So to make a double crochet, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the fourth chain from your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. Now double crochet into the next three chains. So one, two, and three. Those three chains that we skipped at the beginning count as a double crochet. So we have five double crochet here. Now we're going to skip two chains and double crochet into that third chain. So skip one, skip two, and double crochet into that third chain. And now double crochet into each of the next three chains. So one, two, three. Now chain two and double crochet into each of the next four chains. So we're not skipping any stitches, we're just going straight into that next chain and placing one double crochet in each of the next four chains. And now we're going to repeat that same pattern. So we're going to skip two chains, double crochet into the next four chains, chain two, double crochet into the next four chains. So next we're going to skip two chains, double crochet into the next four chains. Now chain two, and double crochet into each of the next four chains. And if your project is bigger, you'll want to keep repeating the same pattern until you have six chains left. All right, so here are my six chains. Now I'm going to skip the next two chains and double crochet into the next three chains. So skip two, double crochet into the next three. So one, two, and three. You should have one chain left, and we're gonna double crochet twice into that last chain. So two double crochet into that last chain. And this is row one of the Peephole Chevron. Now for row two, we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and turn your work. And we're going to double crochet into this very first stitch here. So into the base of our chain. 
And remember that chain three at the beginning of the row counts as a stitch. Now double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So one, two, three. Now skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, three. And now we've reached our chain two from the previous round. So we're going to double crochet, chain two, double crochet, all in this same chain two space. So all into that space. Now double crochet into the next three stitches. So again, we're going to repeat the same steps where we skip the next two stitches, double crochet into the next three stitches. double crochet, chain two, double crochet all into that chain two space, and then double crochet into the next three stitches. So repeat that same pattern until you have your last six stitches. So here is my last six, six stitches. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So our sixth stitch is the chain three from the previous round. So I don't want you to get confused there. Now skip the next two stitches and double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And place two double crochet into that last stitch, so that top chain from the chain three. So one, and two. And that is row two. And now you can see why it's called the peephole chevron. Now for row three and each row forward, we're just going to repeat row two. So I'll go ahead and do it with you one more time. Chain three, double crochet into that very first stitch, double crochet into each of the next three stitches, Skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the next three stitches. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, all into that chain two space. Double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and then repeat that same pattern again until you reach the last six stitches. And now that I've reached my last six stitches, I'm going to skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the next three. And then place two double crochet into that last stitch, which is the top chain from the chain three. And sometimes it can get a little tricky to get in there, so when you're creating your chain three to go on to the next round, try to make that last loop a little bit more loose, just to make it easier on yourself the next time you get up there. All right, and that is it for today's cool crochet stitch. I think the reason why this stitch is so fun is because we don't have any decreasing, so we're not worried about our stitch count. It really is an easy double crochet chevron stitch. 
So I hope you enjoyed learning this new stitch with me and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more cool crochet stitches. If you'd like to see the picture tutorial for this pattern plus additional tips on working with this stitch, you can find the link in my bio for that tutorial. Also, if you're interested in my Peephole Chevron Crochet Baby Blanket, I'll be releasing that next Friday. So you can either subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it on release day, or you can sign up for my newsletter where you'll get updates on all of my latest patterns, tutorials, and beginner tips, plus access to my free Facebook group. I'll see you next time.